Hi guys, Mr. Wayne here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get to the developer room. And in there, you're going to grab the Korak or Korak and the left finger of Glover. This will allow you to have a very cool accessory. Now, to make this a lot easier, guys, you want to finish the broadcast story quest. And uh, this will give you access to the elevators. And you can use the elevator to go all the way to the top, no problem at all. Now, recommended weaponry, you should have uh, at least one uh, ranged weapon. A uh, throwing knife or a crossbow or bow to shoot one enemy as well as the grapple hook because uh, that will help not on your ascent but on your descent funnily enough now there's a couple of floors you can go to here but let's head to the top because we're actually going to be leaving the tower okay up we go let's skip ahead now, as you come out of the uh, out of the lift you want to turn left and head up here and let me just show you on the map uh, which direction I'm actually facing It's uh, quite irritating how long it takes to load the map, but you know, these first world problems we deal with. Here we go. So I'm facing southwest. We're going to head for that building just down there that has the airdrop, the dead drops. So we're going to speed this up as well in a second to get down there quicker. Now there was some confusion as to which floors you meant to go down. As you can see, there's a whole lot of open windows, but some of them you mustn't go into. So there's a couple of tips I can give you now, updated information. So, we're going to start off by grabbing the electrical cable. This is probably familiar to you by now. We're going to swing around. Yes, there are definitely some cuts. <laughs> swing around. Now, turn around. Face the other direction. And we're going to drop down a couple of levels. So, <laughs> not that time. Fail. Try again. So, this is the first, the first area you get into. And there's nothing here. And I was like, no, it's not working for me. But this is the wrong floor. I need to go down further. So exactly where I was standing, turn around and go down one more time. This is where you want to be with some damage. And you've still got the cable attached. Remember, when you're using your glider, just to push square, don't hold square. If you hold square, you'll, you will uh, release the cable. So from there, we're going to swing around. And also remember there's a collectible on the left hand side on one of these floors on the table over there. I think it's on the next one. I don't show it, but just check each one. Although it's not very difficult to come back here. Now stand exactly where I stand here so you do miss the first opening because you want to go two floors down. I'm not sure how many floors down, just not the first one. So not that one on the right, but this one. So you skip one floor or one open window should I say. I don't know how many floors it was. But you can see by the, the plank right there. And the hazard tape. So once we plug that sucker in right there, we are going to swing around one more time. I think the, the collectible will be on the left-hand side over there. I picked it up already. Lots more collectible guides coming as well, guys. And uh, I will update them as uh, the final collectibles are found in the later stages. So from here, we want to aim for the grapple hook just on the left of the building there, on the right of the building. And that is going to be a lot more difficult without the grapple hook to try and stay in this area using the glider. And we still got the cable. Now we want to do the same thing here. We'll just grapple hook right there. Thank you. And now we are here, is it? Right, so over here, we're going to plug in the last one. And now you've got to get your ranged weapon ready. Although you do have plenty of time to get it ready. But uh, why not tell you in advance? Defense system panel. <laughs> okay, open sesame, please. So over here, he's going to come running down the corridor now. And if you look at the paintings on the left and the right, it's all the games they've done. A lot of Call of Juarez and others along here. But the aim over here, guys, is to sit on the four seats around this table. One, two, uh, three, and four over here. But let's turn some music on for some ambiance, although I have reduced the sound quite a bit. So you can read the letter they've written over here, which is pretty cool. Thanking you many, many times. It is my pleasure, sirs and ma'ams. So from here, we want to sit on each of the sitable seats, like I said. You just sit down once, hold square, get up. And also, I'm going to, like everyone else that's searching madly for the last black duck. I've got four black ducks and a whole lot of red ducks. And I've got a video coming out, hopefully by the end of today. We would have found it, someone would have found it, I would have found it, I don't know. But uh, we don't, I don't quite know what it does yet. There are some speculations about what the ritual does, but I'm not going to speculate now. Keep it spoiler free. 
but it is a very satanic <laughs> hence the red glowing duck eyes and you see a whole lot of ducks in the fridge here now these are friendly ducks okay so guys getting off subject here that is the last seat now we're going to wait now i haven't fast forwarded or anything on these uh, waiting parts because you want to see how long it actually takes you can see it's starting to starting to create itself there on the uh, little sparkles <laughs> which reminds me of the thor movie with jeff goldblum when he's in the chair and he goes oh he's got sparkles sparkle hands oh my god it makes me laugh so hard <clears throat> and there it is i think it's the correct or correct correct i think it is i hope it's the correct saying <laughs> Anyway, we're going to pick this up, whatever it is. Anyway, what is it? Correct. Yeah, I was correct. Okay, that's enough now. So this is a blueprint, guys. So, oh, sorry, it's not a blueprint. It's a charm. And I was wondering, uh, can you use it on one weapons? Can you only use it once? These were my questions. So I attached it to a weapon straight away. And obviously it has 500 durability, you can see there, which is crazy. It's pretty much unlimited. And now I wanted to put on a second weapon just to make sure I could have them on all weapons and you most definitely can. So that is just fantastic. You find a weapon that you love and you just keep it for as long as you can because there's a lot of weaponry in this game. Although the artifact weapons that do last a very long time like that one, but uh, now it's going to last even longer. Okay, so we can have a quick look around here before we head to the next area. So a lot of ducks there. Duck. The yellow ducks with black eyes, the other ones are black with red. Whole lot of molotovs, we will have those, thank you very much. Nothing else in there. So we're going to head to the bedroom and we're going to grab ourselves the left finger of Glava. And uh, this is actually a blueprint. I did sit over here for about, oh this is the, uh, the sign weapon, <laughs> signpost axe. I did sit here for about five minutes, nothing happens. Or maybe you have to sit there for six minutes, who knows. But let's go to the pub, which is the bedroom, funnily enough. Well, that's probably just naming this room. Have a look around at the pictures and everything on the walls. It's cool, it's pretty interesting. But over here, we want to sit on this bed with all the teddies. And they're going to start popping up all around us. And then the item is going to spawn in the Techland picture right there. And it, like I said before, it is a blueprint. So um, you can craft as many times as you like. It's more expensive. It's like 380 uh, scraps or something per craft, and you will get five of them, I think, per craft, and then roughly 10 shots per uh, per one. So yeah, you got 50 shots with one craft, and that's an, that's just a guess, guys, from what I've seen. I haven't played with it much. Just wanted to get this video up. And I do love that they've added this kind of thing, and you know as well as I do, there's going to be more things that are going to be happening, like this duck thing. I want to spend the entire day today, if I have to, trying to find that last duck and uh, using the internet to the best of my abilities as well but also sometimes you have to be at a certain point in the, in the storyline or you have to do this or go follow this path and uh, it's all a bit uh, hearsay at the moment but uh, we will figure it out in the end so here we go all of the teddies have spawned there must be thor's teddies with all the lightning so waiting a little bit more the second you see some uh, activity on the picture over there you will see it start to sparkle there we go you can actually get up now if you wanted to, but uh, you will grab the blueprint right there. Thanks, Techland. It's pretty much an indie company, which is amazing if you think about it. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be bought out pretty soon for a couple of billion. Okay, so there it is. The left finger of Glover. There we go. So as you can see, it's a blueprint. So I will get into this now. I didn't have enough inventory space. So, if you go to your blueprints, your crafting at least, it's going to be there. So, 80 damage, as you can see, 369, is it? I think it was. And it gives you 5 shots. Not that one, not that one. We need to equip it still. I'm busy looking at the weapons, wasn't quite sure what was happening. But, uh, there it is right there. So, it's like the boomstick you can craft. But it's the glover. So, I don't show a lot of this, guys, but uh, you can play around with it. As you can see here, his left finger comes up. And it's equipped in your accessory slot on the bottom left corner, left on the D-pad. And there we go. Let's search him, why not? Got to get those zombie trophies. And there we go, guys. That is the left finger of, Glo Flinger? <laughs> left finger of Glover. Very, very powerful. And as you can see, it does have limited use. I think I shot about five or six times and it was halfway. 
But that's it, guys. If you have any questions at all, just ask me. I'm always going to reply. And uh, remember, lots more videos coming out, especially the collectibles. I'm focusing on the collectible guides. So uh, check those out if you are in need. So, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And I want to catch you on the next one.